Hi, Celsians. Uh, another quick update here from the Crypto Castle right here in New York City. As you, we were working all weekend to make sure that everybody got their withdrawals, everybody got their loans, everybody got uh, uh, swaps. A lot of people are swapping again. We doubled the limits for everybody and also expanded who can swap. So check your wallets uh, to see if you are one of the lucky ones and enabled on-ramps in uh, many new states. So you should definitely uh, uh, use those capabilities. All that stuff speeds up your ability to uh, get in and out of assets or move things around to accommodate whatever you need to do, right? We're here to help you out. And uh, uh, let's talk a little bit about stable coins. I know a lot of people were nervous about DPEG and how if Luna slash UST came down, maybe uh, Tether or USDC is next, and I'm just going to withdraw my coins and, and get my money back. But you have to understand that there's three different buckets and they're not even close to being each other. First, you have USDC, TUSD, USDP, which is the Paxos stablecoin. All of those are pegged one to one, which means that they're holding dollars in an in a trust company, in a bank, uh, and at any time, it doesn't matter what this trades, what the, these tokens uh, trade on an exchange, you can always take uh, a USDC or, uh, or USDP or TUSD, go to, for example, Silvergate Bank or the issuer, whoever is the bank behind the issuer, and they will give you a dollar from their reserves, right? So even if it trades at 90 cents on the dollar, you can buy it at 90 cents on a dollar in exchange just because somebody's selling it at a discount. Go to these guys and redeem full dollar. So you have to understand in crypto, it's not like Wall Street where if, if, if some stock trading at 90 cents and it depegged, right? Second group, right? The first group is one to one pegged. Second group is over collateralized. DAI, Tether, USDT, those are over collateralized uh, assets. And again, you can go to them and just redeem. You can go to maker and redeem uh, uh, your dollars or redeem uh, your collateral, you can go to Tether and redeem, right? So people were buying Tether at 95 cents, hundreds of millions of dollars, and redeeming it for a full dollar directly with Tether, right? So you have to understand that. The third group is the group that is under collateralized, and Terra Luna was under collateralized. They only had about 20% of their assets in Bitcoin, and the rest were things that we didn't know what their value was. So when everybody went to the exit, there was not enough uh, money there for everybody to get out. And that's why the value started dropping and depegging. So if you're in good assets, you're doing just fine. If you're in questionable assets, you're going to have issues. We don't pick, we don't choose what you invest in, right? You, 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 you own USD, you made that decision. You own US, USDC. You made that decision, right? So our job is just to earn yield on all these assets. And when you withdraw, our job is to make sure that you get that rapidly seven days a week, 365 days a year. Again, obviously, this was not a very good situation. We had uh, many crypto uh, uh, companies defend uh, Luna. It wasn't just uh, uh, the founders of the Luna protocol. It wasn't just people holding UST. You had people like Jump and Three Arrows and, and others uh, try to defend the peg. Uh, but at the same time, you had, uh, I call them uh, TradFi Wall Street sharks come and try to basically eat us alive, right? And pour fire on the, uh, pour, pour more gasoline on the fire that already existed, right? And really what, what's painful is that the the sharks from wall street managed to make about 900 million dollars in profit but they caused 60 billion in damage right if you look at the total damage in the entire uh luna ecosystem it's not just terra luna and ust it's all the other companies that were developing building the future uh, uh, of finance right uh, around that idea they're all basically in distress. They're all uh, uh, in trouble, right? Because basically they were all relying on the value of the Luna uh, coin to continue doing what they're doing. So, so what's really painful is that, again, uh, uh, the sharks are going to get away with profit. The community is going to suffer. And uh, the people who've created these protocols are probably going to have years and years of litigation uh, uh, 
ahead of them instead of the people who actually perpetrated this. And on top of this, right, to, again, pouring even more gasoline on the fire, the Bitcoin maxis are all over Twitter trying to convince everybody, hey, this is why we told you, you know, uh, and not your keys, not your Bitcoin, you know. So let me tell everybody, right, 30% of all the Bitcoin is gone because of the Bitcoin maxis, because they told you to hold your own keys. And then everybody lost their keys. Now, it's good for them because they know how to hold their keys. And when you lose your Bitcoin, their Bitcoin is worth more, right? So they're talking their own book. That's not good for you, right? And like I said, 90, over 90% 90 of the people in the world cannot manage their own keys, do not know how to reset password, don't know how to keep these things safe. And the only way that all of our coins are worth more is if we can bring few hundred million more people to crypto. If we can bring them in and keep them safe, your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, your sell token is not going to be worth more. That's just how it works. So Celsius as a CeFi platform is not competing with Bitcoin maxis. We're not trying to steal Bitcoin maxis. We're trying to bring 100 million new people, new, N-E-W for you, uh, you know, Bitcoin maxis don't know how to spell, okay? N-E-W, people, so all of our bags are worth it. Now, all of us, we want to work together. We all should huddle together, hold hands together. You guys bring more maxis. We will bring more people that don't know how to manage their keys. Okay? So thanks for sticking around. Thanks for huddling. Thanks for supporting the Celsius community, the best community in crypto. And we're going to get through this together. We unite, we win. We divide, we fall. Thanks, guys.